Hello dear audience, apologies for the strange introduction this week. We have another crazy episode live from New Farm Cinemas where we interviewed a, a range of different guests, much like the previous recording we did uh, live from the set of Crackpot. We understand that these live recordings are a bit different in terms of audio quality and may not be the nicest to listen to if you're just an audio listener. So I just wanted to do this brief uh, introduction just to make sure that everyone knows we're going back to our normally scheduled content of interviewing guests and then putting out the recordings uh, of the live interview on YouTube later that, that week. Thank you for your patience with us while we try out new things. It's been very fun and exciting to do these live recordings, but we do want to move back into our uh, normal interviews. So once again, thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. Hello, and welcome to the Film School Chronicle. I'm your host, Bryce Quinn, and joining me today is Nathaniel Koch, Hayden Terawana, and Hannah Hayes Sisson. You got it. That's right. <laughs> so this is a very special episode of the podcast again, because I've managed to get another live recording. <laughs> So we're going to be doing a bunch of guests this evening, and it's going to be very, very fast-paced as I'm talking to try and keep up. And our first letter guests are all from Final Girl. We've got the lead actress, the writer-director, yeah. and the producer. So, hey guys, how's it going? Yes, very amazing. Yeah. Yes. So, I'm the only one wearing a mask. Oh shit. No, no, we're good. I'll just join you. That was, I did the whole intro with my mask. <laughs> we know what public. So we just sat in and watched all of the episodic screenings all together. How are we feeling after that? Yeah, it's very surreal seeing it all on the big screen. Yeah, the big screen. We're at yeah. the New Farm Cinema right now. Yes. Um, we are not sponsored by them. No, we do not have permission to be doing this podcast. <laughs> no, it's good. It's like it's just good to see like a piece of our work on the big screen. I think yeah. that's what we all aspire to do. Definitely. Definitely. So I think it's just very, very surreal at this point. Yeah. So. No, I had the same feeling, but the opposite, where I was like, I don't want them to scream my film. <laughs> but um, I really enjoyed getting to watch you guys again. How did you feel now? It's like the second or third time you've seen it displayed for an audience. Anything that you're picking up this time that was a bit different? Any any changes? Oh, like the last 30 seconds, like, oh, fuck off, I hate it. No, I love the last 30 seconds. Yeah, it's like, it's like when you watch a film over and over and over and over again, you just, like, I pick up every little tiny thing. Like, I'm sure Hannah gets the treatment. You're like, watch it, like, I could have done this better, or, like... Uh, slasher and Doctor. <laughs> yeah, no, we've got two of the actors here actually. So, how is it? So, it was a working relationship, obviously, with producer and actress. How was it to go from and then be both actors on set? It was incredible. I'm currently studying acting at the moment, so it was oh, such fantastic. an amazing opportunity yep. to study with other film students and then make something collaborative and just honestly want to get better and work at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fantastic. What about you, Nathan? It was like the dream come true, really. Like, yeah, just to act. Just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really so was it just one of those like spur of the moments to just jump in? Like Hayden was like, get in there, just be on the screen. I yeah. just want you acting. Yeah, and I was like, definitely yes. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Well, yeah, we, just, like, yeah. we were just talking about like the characters of the killers, and I was like, tall, broad shoulders. <laughs> tall, broad shoulders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Daniel did face killers. Yeah, that was, yeah, it was great. Great casting yeah, choices. On yeah, absolutely. Well. They did such a good job. I'm so proud of it. Yeah, like it's a very task, big task. So one of my favorite questions to ask people in this kind of situation is, would you do it again? Would Fuck you no. direct and write again? Fucking yeah. No. Final Girl 2 is coming out next year. No <laughs> way, really? Is that official confirm on the podcast? I mean, we have more eras to play with, so that's that yeah. little, little teaser at the end of it with the Blair Witch kind of thing was a kind of a teaser for maybe another one, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> if, if Hannah and Nathaniel are back on board, absolutely. So yeah, question for you both. Would you both you'd produce and you'd act again? Of course, yeah. Yeah? yeah. In the same crew, maybe, potentially? 100%. I, I feel like love a tabloid acting. reporter now. <laughs> <laughs> I always love acting with the Griffith yeah. students. It's always such an amazing time, and especially with Hayden and Nate. So, 100%. All right, Definitely thank you so much. Again. I think that's all we're going to have time for today, but thank you so much for joining me. We're going to move on to the next set of guests. Thank you. See ya. Okay, rolling audio again. Rolling camera. Check. Rolling camera? Yep. Right, and welcome back. This is our next set of guests. We are joined by Jordan Stott. Yep. Cool. Megan Carmella uh, Cyanus. <laughs> Triandus. Triandus. I'm so sorry. And Noff. Yes. Me. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And you guys are the lead cast of Ain't It Fun, the episode series. How are you going? Great. Good. Yeah. Fantastic. How are you feel after watching that at the cinema? So good. Better the second time. Better yeah. the second time. Yeah. yeah. We didn't Fantastic. get one this time. Oh. That was yeah. the whole episode drama. six. <laughs> <laughs> That yeah. sounds like a whole event. We got to watch the last 20 seconds this time. Yeah, it's so, great. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, it's good to see the conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> How was the experience for you guys as actors coming onto this huge project? Okay. I, it was uh, fantastic. Um, yeah, it was a really quick turnaround, um, and it was probably the longest project that I've ever been, you know, such a big part in. Yeah. It's so relevant in. Um, so it was definitely a learning experience, um, and it was, you know, creatively... Just, it was a lot. It was a lot, and I was happy to be there. And you know, you wake up every morning, and you're like, okay, I have to be on set by X, Y, Z time for the next 
12 days and I'm excited. You know, sometimes you wake up and you're like, why am I doing this? Yeah. <laughs> Weird. I actually like woke up in the morning and I was like, I'm here because I want to be here and I'm loving it. And every day I'm just like, yeah. 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 You guys echo those thoughts as well? Pretty well. Yeah. 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 Like, cast and crew were fantastic. Everyone was amazing. The writers were fantastic. It, like, you know, you watch a lot of student films and this and that, and you watch things, you compare it to like big budget things, and it's like, you know what, that wasn't actually that bad. Like, it turned out pretty good. Yeah. Acting wasn't too shabby, so. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's it was, yeah, it was, it was really fun to work with everyone. Yeah. You know, um, for me, it was like really, it was like pretty stressful because I. I go to uni um, basically like eight to five every day, mm-hmm. and so I had to like find time to like come in and everything and, and do that. And like I think there's like it's it's also like one of the longest things I've done with more prominent role for film and everything. Um, and like I think I think like with with all of us we had to there was like not a struggle but there was definitely like challenges that we ran into with like finding you know, truth and character, like doing the character research and, yeah. and everything. And, you know, uh, for me at least, I don't have like a very prominent role. Like, well, well, it's, well I'm there, yeah, but, I'm, I'm, but, but, no, I know, but, but I'm not, I'm not like speaking. It's not too it, much I'm not, exploration. Yeah, so yeah. like, there was a lot of like delving I had to do into, into that, which was awesome because we got to collaborate with the directors and all the other people in the crew, like coming up with like these little avenues that, yeah, yeah might, might be a possibility. Well, after dipping your toes into this really intense acting experience, is, are you, is your resolve stronger coming out the other side? Do you want to do more of what you've just done? Um, well, I, I think the thing is, like, you know, this, I think the character exploration that we do have in the series, I think definitely ignited something for all of us where we were like, yeah, but, but we can make it longer or we can, you know, we can see more and we yeah. can, you know, look at other parts and make, make the characters a bit more detailed. Right. Um, so I think that definitely gave me that urge. Well, I've interviewed Seth and Taylor before, and they said they want to come back to it. So oh, season two, I season two. Just, two. Season like, two. We had some lines that could have totally crept in for season know. two, yeah. but that's okay. We'll never know. And there's like these little like we kind of all like cast and crew and directors and writers. We all kind of were like, oh, if we came back for season two, like, oh, what if we like, oh, what if we like, whoa, you know, just like, yeah. every other episode we'd be like, oh, season two, season two, season two. Season two. Season two. Season two. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. We, 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 yeah, it was pretty cool. Well, it sounds like there's a lot of potential there for you guys to come back and yeah. everything. So did you enjoy your time working with the casting crew? Because yes. I'm, I'm friends with quite a few of them and I just remember seeing their exhausted, drained faces yeah. after like the long, long hours they were working, like back-to-back days, back-to-back weeks of shooting. Yeah. Those cold nights yeah. really, 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 really got to you, I swear. Oh, yeah. Like, Because when you're working and you're doing your creative outlet and you're having fun, it's like, yes, sweet, you have all the energy, but when it's as soon as you stop, yeah. Yeah. as soon as you start, like, just sort of read that the surroundings, and you're like, oh, wow, it's actually, like, nine degrees, and I'm, like, in a t-shirt, and, like, <laughs> no shoes. Actually, for my toes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. And what about you guys now coming out of it? Are you, do you feel, like, closer friends now? You've been hanging out more often? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 actually, yeah. We hang out all the time, yeah. Uh, um, oh, yeah. All the time. All the time, yeah. And, and the crew as well, I feel like there's some strong bonds that you can't really get anywhere else. Other than a film set. It's 100% true. Like, after, after Ain't a Fun, I went to Winton. Yeah. And, you know, like, yeah. 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 And, um, um, and it, was, it was awesome. Like, I already built a bond with these people and it grew even stronger over the two weeks there. And, like... You know, like what you said, like, you know, coming out of it, like, how, like, what do you think of, like, you know, the crew and everything? I genuinely think that the cohort is fucking talented. They are. Like, really yeah. talented. Yeah. Super fucking promising. Well, to speak on their talent, you saw not just Ain't It Fun tonight, but the rest of the episodic series, one of which I produced. <laughs> What do you guys think? What do you think of the rest of the show? Which, which, which one? Are you going to tell us I, which <laughs> They're all pretty decent. So, um, my friend uh, and co-host Carmelo was the director and I was the producer of The Hunter's Nell, uh, which actually starred Seth, the uh, showrunner of Ain't It Fun. He was the monster in our short film. That's so, so cool. Yeah. Good job. Thank you so much. So you were producer yeah. of Yeah, I was the producer of that one. Dude, everyone's like got all their fingers in like all yeah. the pots. That's, yeah. the, that's, that's the game. That's the game you're trying to play, yeah. I also... Um, Larkin, the cameraman, and I also helped out on Bin Night, which we are both super proud of. We thought it sounded amazing. That, was so, that kid yeah. was so good. Both he was fantastic, the, yeah. Both those kid actors that were... Yeah. I saw yeah. someone and wasn't my mum or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so we've actually interviewed Connor, the DOP, for that one. Oh, yeah. and I think writer-director for that one, sorry. 
on this show before, and he is a very, very talented guy. He actually yeah. runs his own uh, social media business that he, you know, lives off of, and yeah. he talked about that on an interview. If you want to check it out, at yeah. the Film School Chronicle on Instagram, yes. plugging it on the show. Sorry, I can't help myself. <laughs> but I think uh, we're going to be uh, getting an influx of new guests. Thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's been an absolute oh, pleasure. Thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all the time for we have uh, today. And until next time, I don't know why I'm ending the show. We're just going to cut it there. Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to our next segment. I just messed it up really bad. I'm so sorry, guys. We're joined by Remy, Daisy, and Anya. And these are the camera team, the camera, like, head creatives behind the fun, the DOPs. I don't know why I lost the word DOP. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Good, good, good. How are we feeling after that uh, big old screening of fun? Good, good. Yeah. watching it on, like, on his cinema screen. Yeah. I was so excited for the shot again. I was just, I couldn't wait, and then I have like, yes. Um, if you're not familiar, this uh, is the mind behind the wonderful cup shot from Ain't It Fun. Uh, you've got no uh, choice but to have seen it by now. <laughs> you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. But yeah, so how are you guys feeling after that? Any thoughts, any feelings? It was cool, yeah, watching on cinema screen as well. Yeah, I think that like between like, the three of us, I think we're able to keep like a relatively consistent yeah, style. I feel good. Right, we still have like our personal. It definitely taste. worked yes. having only three. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, three DOPs okay. for the whole episode, so the six series episode, yeah. three DOPs, and that was across the whole thing. Yeah. And it's just the three of you. So we each did yeah, two episodes each. Yeah, yeah. two episodes each. It was good because we like we talked a lot in pre-production, yeah. and then across the, um, we were on like a lot of each other's sets, and yeah. so um, we were able to make sure that we like shared a lot of ideas. We kept like the same yeah, like, themes going. Like three new gals for two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, so we were able to like keep all those same ideas, but like still have our own like you know, still choose our own shots and keep our own style. Yeah, definitely. I think looking back now, is there anything you would have done differently, especially in the technical Slow side? Speed, really Slow shutter speed. Slow shutter speed. I feel like actually drunk. Yeah. yeah. And also wrap the focus to her face. It was focused on the car. Oh, I, I, I like that though. Oh, I think it looked good. Okay. Um, I think I think that like having her, uh, you know, had a have that child yeah. feel like substitute for not having that shaky you know. sure, yeah. but um anything for me? Um maybe uh, a bit of planning I think. I think it, it was yeah. very stressful but like it all worked out in the end. But I think it was really yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I don't think you can tell that like locations change two days uh, before yeah. or something. Yeah. But I think the thing that I would have done differently was just like take notes of my lighting. Because in episode one like the lighting changed so much like in between shots. I had to try and like make it. Blame it on the gaffers. Yeah, blame on the gaffers. That was great. But so I would just think like, you know, like go in knowing, and go in having like a plan, or at least make sure that my life is consistent. Because that's something that like made it a bit harder. All right, and my final question for you guys would you do it again? Yeah, yeah. Always yes. Fantastic, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. I think that's going to be all we have time for today. Thanks so much, Alessandra. <laughs> thank you and yeah that this has been the film school chronicle thank you for tuning in and uh yeah until next time thanks for listening